Hello there Capricorn, this is going to be your New Year's Resolution Love Oracle reading. And I've already pre-shuffled these cards as you can see. Okay, so this is for Capricorns who are of the sun, moon, or rising sign. Also for others who are influenced by the sign of Capricorn in their charts. Alright, so what is the theme for the new year for you, Capricorns? And you have protection with Archangel Michael, protector of all. So your theme for the new year is to know that you are divinely protected when it comes to love. It's completely safe for you to open your heart and to give love and to receive it. Because some of you might be in fear of trusting others and giving your heart. Um, also afraid of if others are being genuine when it comes to love. That you can find someone that you trust and it's safe for you. You have a fear of rejection. You have a fear of um, abuse in some way. Cheating, neglect. But the... The divine is saying that it's safe for you when Archangel Michael is here protecting you. You're divinely protected. Okay, so your theme this month is to know and to trust that your heart is safe. All right, you're safe. What needs to be released before the new year when it comes to love? Leadership. So it's time for you to take your power back, to stand into your leadership position and release relationships, codependency, um, Abusive relationships that make you feel like you are uh, where there's a dominator and there's um, a submissive. That's an abusive relationship that makes you feel like you're less than. Or it could also be that you could also be dominating someone, using your leadership, using your power in the wrong way to um, control someone because you don't want to be seen or feel like you're less than or that you're not worthy of or that you're weaker so you might try to um, abuse people in a way dominate people control people manipulation that makes you feel like a false sense of power for some of you you feel victimized you feel like you're the less like you have no power and the other person is more dominant over you more powerful if you're in situations, it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic relationships. It could be a friendship. It could be co-workers, a boss, someone close to you that makes you feel that way or you're doing this to your people around you. Okay, so release anything that makes you feel like you are weak or less than or trying to control people that makes you feel like you're more powerful than someone else so that you don't feel weaker. Okay. All right. So what goals and intentions will be in your highest good to set when it comes to love? You have the love card and it says the fifth element, love. So this is like the highest form of love. This is pure love. This is unconditional. Being in your highest state when it comes to love, it's like there's lower levels. We go through stages. It's like the five chakras. Um, there's a little bit of lower chakras, but they're focusing on like the seventh chakra, the sixth the fifth so it's like more so focusing on the hardening up that makes sense so these are like once you reach the point of your heart chakra this is like where you activate that pure loving energy and it starts to manifest so we have the heart the throats the third eye and the crown chakra so all the way up from the heart, all the way up to the crown chakra is being emphasized. And that's the experience of true love. So set the intention that maybe even that I'll work on these chakras, that I focus on doing chakra meditations for my heart, throat, third eye, and crown chakra. Activate those to see what those, those chakras 
feel with those chakras, speak from those chakras, which, which will put me in a space of bringing in actual love and visualizing true love, experiencing real love, coming from a true place of love. It's like, that's where you want to be. So state those intentions that you will experience true love in its highest form and you'll be open to pure unconditional love and you'll be open to give it as well. If you're not, if you feel like you're not capable and you're still not worthy of that, ask to be, ask to see it in that way or to be taught how to love in that space. Help me to heal my heart. Help me to open my throat chakra where I'm speaking my truth and coming from a place and honoring my heart and my love. Speaking love into beingness, seeing how spirit sees love. Integrate that into my being. How can you achieve this with hope? You have to have that faith and belief within yourself. It really starts within that you're worthy of it. Because some of you, it might be hard to see that you're worthy of what you want. So in order to achieve it, you have to have that hope and that faith that you're able to have what you want and you have to remember that you're divinely protected you're safe like you're safe from from your fears it's like it's all a fear that you have surrounding love that's causing imbalances in your life and in your love life and within yourself so in order to achieve this highest condition this highest form of unconditional love you have to have faith and hope within yourself. And maybe if you can't have that in yourself, then within the divine, within the universe, that they are supporting you and backing you, that these angels are nurturing you, loving you, supporting you, encouraging you. The lesson for you to learn within the new year when it comes to love is joy, reflections, and, and consciousness. So what they're saying here is the lesson that you need to learn that in order to experience this joy in your life it has to come from out before it can be manifested outside it has to come from within so it's like you have to be that joy within yourself you have to feed your subconscious mind with positivity speaking positive affirmations meditating having positive expectations hope faith within yourself being grateful and thankful for what's around you, who you have around you, your experiences, how far you've progressed, how much you've evolved. In that state within, it's like consciously, your subconscious mind is going to manifest in the consciousness the joy outside. So you're going to look at your life and feel like actually things are of your highest good. Things are in, in a good space. You're not going to be looking at things from a lower vibration so it's kind of like everything has to start within if you want the change in the world you have to be that change it's that energy of inward that manifests it out so if i'm sad inside and i feel like my life just sucks and i don't have any worthiness i hate myself i'm sad i'm depressed i'm angry things in my life are going to attract that energy going to attract bad people into my life. I'm going to attract unfortunate situations. So they're focusing on you have to learn the lesson that the joy has to start within before it can be without. On the outside, that is. Okay. New energies and new experiences and love that you'll be moving into in the new year. And you have enthusiasm, bringing heaven to earth. Heaven is as above, so below. That's what it is. Above starts from your highest self, your subconscious mind, spirit. The earth is actual form, physical form, the earth, the subconscious or the conscious consciousness. So that the abs above so below energy is the same thing as in the joy card. You have to be that within yourself to experience this. So you will actually be coming into that. There's this kind of looks like the third eye, but it's a globe collective consciousness universal so it's like your universe shifts once you step into this new consciousness so you have to train your subconscious mind now that if you're feeling lack unworthiness fear anxieties my life sucks i'm not good enough i can't have this i won't have that i'm a bad person then you're going to 
create that. It's going to happen. So shift your mind so that you can move into these new energies and these new experiences where you're enthusiastic and others around you are enthusiastic. You're attracting the energy that you're putting out. That's what's inside of you. So if you're enthusiastic, you're in joy, you're happy, you're in bliss, you're feeling grateful and thankful about your life, you're lifting yourself up, you're growing, you're going to attract those experiences back to you. What you're going to learn about self when it comes to love in the new year, belief, point between reality, kind of the same thing as the other cards. Can't really see it's dark colors we have dolphins here a lot of them have dolphins um it's hard to see i apologize but th what you're going to discover about yourself just how powerful your beliefs are as far as your intentions being consciously aware of your intentions what you're thinking your thought patterns what you're feeling what you're saying because all of that is setting an intention it's setting a belief putting that energy behind it you're going to see just how powerful your intentions are once you become consciously aware of them you're going to discover that having belief and holding faith in the things that you're saying or that you're doing and that you're feeling the power behind them and how they manifest is going to it's going to show you something on a deeper level about your beliefs it's like the point between your reality so it's like the belief that started inside of me, I'm witnessing it, it's happening or it's manifesting in the reality type of thing. I uh, hope that makes sense. You have a lot of that energy here. Okay, so I'm going to pull a card from the Angel Gods and Goddesses deck for you Capricorns for the new year. What guidance does the Divine have for you and wants to give you, for you to take with you into the new year? Okay, God of spiritual healing, and it says an aspect of you or your situation in your life is in need of healing. So a lot of you do have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive others. That the role that they played, everyone plays a role in our lives. They're, every connection we have is equally important. No matter if you perceive the relationship is good or bad, positive or negative, helpful or non-helpful on a higher level that person is actually helping you for your highest good you're learning through that person so it's like a mirror effect if this person is rejecting you abusing you it's a reflection of what am i what am i doing to myself what am i rejecting within myself am i rejecting myself am i abusing myself am i neglecting myself in some way so it's like this person is like an alarm for your highest self telling you to listen, to pay attention. If someone is complimenting me, encouraging me, it's kind of like they're speaking from their higher self to you, your higher self um, sending you that message that you are valuable, you're worthy. If someone says you're a good cook, I enjoy your cooking. It's an encouragement for you it's like a, a signal like a pat on the back for you to show you that you are worthy that you are good at something some things or everything you do it's a lesson it's a mirror the things that you see in others that you find beautiful and amazing those are things within yourself that you're recognizing through someone else we're all mirrors of each other we all serve a divine purpose in each other's lives whether I'm someone that you just met five minutes ago, there's something within each and every interaction once you become consciously aware of it. Okay? So nothing is by default. Um, but Spirit is saying that there's a lot of lessons that you've had to go through. You have to heal from that. You have to forgive yourself. You have to forgive others' roles in these things because they're, you're holding on to them and it makes you believe that you're not worthy that you can't have what you want or that you can't give something valuable, okay? Hating others or blaming others for things that have happened to you, you have to forgive them in their role, not saying that what they did was necessarily right, but it was something within that, if you look at it from a higher perspective, how did it serve me in a better way? 
Okay. So that was your reading, Capricorn. I do hope that you'll find this reading beneficial. And I send you guys lots of love, lots of light, and I wish you a happy new year. Take care.